with the current high interest rate, I start. Okay, you start. We also all start. Yeah, we start. <laughs> we are. Okay, what should you look for as a buyer today? So we mentioned earlier of the essentials framework and what it covers is actually the risk assessment of Singapore. And mainly the three components. Firstly, on the demand and supply side, we are actually facing a very huge oversupply of new launch in the market in the last and the next five years. Mm -hmm. So currently we are looking forward to about 54,000 plus units that's going to be completed in the next five years. But actually up to date, the actual numbers that's balanced left for new launch units is about 14,000 plus minus here and there with the units being uptake day to day as we are speaking, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens then when there is a lesser number of new launch units, a lot of the buyers still will then gravitate towards the resale market. And mm -hmm. that's why you see the peak resale prices happening in the market at this point in time. Which I will cover later. Yes, so not to worry about that. Mm -hmm. And of course, the next point is on the cooling measures. So what has the cooling measures that is most recently in place in December really affected the market in Singapore? And mainly for the cooling measures is to target the HDB market as because HDB is meant to be affordable housing for everybody in Singapore. And with a lot of million dollar HDBs being sold day in and day out, it's not considered uh, affordable housing anymore. And the government is trying to stop that from inflating even higher than it already is. And of course, for cooling measures wise, we have actually two types of cooling measures. Firstly, is direct demand impact. Secondly, is preventive. So for direct demand impact, what are some of the examples? So things would be example, if LTV, loan to value ratio, mm -hmm. changes from 75% to 70%, it will mean that every buyer now will have to pay 5% extra more in cash mm -hmm. to buy the next property purchase. And that will definitely affect the uptake of the units in Singapore. And another one would be if buyer stamp duty increases from the current 4% to 5%, everybody across the board will then have to pay an additional 1% in prices. That will definitely have a direct impact to the property prices in Singapore. What the government is trying to do now is more preventive. The biggest changes for the cooling measures was actually for ABSD increment across the board. And the biggest heating ones were the one for the foreigners. Foreigners now have to pay instead of 20%, they now have to pay a 30% increase of ABSD, which makes them pay extra 10% in prices. And this is trying to prevent foreign influx from coming to Singapore and further inflating the prices of Singapore property market. Imagine today with the current recent news of the China markets opening, and we have more foreigners coming into Singapore to purchase the property that we have. With the little supply we already have, this will definitely drive the prices even higher than it already is. Last but not least, we have the interest rates. And of course, interest rate has the biggest question that everybody is talking about nowadays. Oh my god, the interest rate is so high now, what should we do? So with the current high interest rates now, the government has actually done their own prudence and due diligence to help increase the floor stress test level from the previous 3.5% mm -hmm. to currently 4%. How does this actually help or benefit you as a buyer today? With the higher increase in the floor test stress rate, it means that of course, you will need to have more income before you can borrow more to afford your housing. But this is the government's prudence to ensure that you are able to afford the house that you're planning to purchase. Imagine today if they do not raise this floor test interest rate and everybody start to over borrow, what will happen is we'll be faced with a situation where a lot of buyers will not be able to afford their monthly mortgage and a lot of people will be left either stranded or with even bigger debts. So once, of course, we don't expect this high interest rate periods to last forever or even a very long time, yeah. based on our studies and analysis, we've actually come across and found out that actually this high interest rate timeline generally lasts for about 21 months to maybe maximum two years. Yeah. And of course, if you want to find out more, you can contact us. So once the high interest rate returns back to normalcy, we will then definitely see the property prices started to recover and increase back in pricing. Why? Really because once the interest rate goes back to normal, mm -hmm. consumers will then be able to borrow relatively a higher amount of loan to afford the housings that they want to afford. And the developers will then be able to raise their prices knowing that you as a consumer will be able to afford the higher quantum that they are providing. So as I've mentioned, the undersupply has caused the demand to shift back into the resale market today. And as we all know, the resale prices has been going up quite steadily over the last few months. So the key question is how as a seller can you capitalise on the current market? So with the peak resale demand now, you as a seller can actually take this opportunity with opportunity to market your unit at the higher selling price. So what do we usually do for our clients will be the CMA of your surrounding project. So the aim is to find out what is the highest transaction, not only in your development, um, but the surrounding project. So this will be a good gauge for us to structure the selling price. And we have actually helped many of our clients to achieve at least 50 to 100K more than the last transacted around the area or in your project itself. So one example is Ignatius and I, we bought a unit, um, I think you remember we talked about we have a unit in Alps and we actually made a profit of 300k. So of course, this is a very small portion of what we can assist you with. So if you guys want to find out more, give us a call. I'm Daphne. And I'm Ignatius. See you again. Bye.